So we're we're going towards the river right now. Windy enough to where we can make a little bit of noise, and the wind stopped. We kept moving. We just jumped the spike right here. Maybe even hunt the creek. I don't know. But we're heading towards the creek right now. This is a spot also that we scouted the off season, and we found the buck sign is not really over here. It's more secluded over there, which is kind of a walk in, but. I have a good feeling about tonight already. That was exciting. There's one, two, three, and over there, there's four. Yeah, but it's all over there. Alright y'all, welcome back to another video. It is October 13th, exactly one year ago. I killed my doe last year. That was the video I did, uh, self-filming. Uh, it's currently 3.40. Um, we got into, or we started hunting really, really early just because we wanted to look around and stuff like that. And so we found ourselves a nice little opening and we have the river right behind us. And then we have a west northwest wind. I thought I said that weird. We have a west north northwest wind. And then we have about five scrapes literally right under us. Um, there's one right below us, that's the biggest one. And uh, yeah, so we've been hunting a lot. Mar went on Sunday, we saw a four point come right under the stand. I'm gonna get anything there. And then later that afternoon, our buddy Austin and coworker Austin uh, got a uh, his first deer with the bow on Sunday. So that was good. So Sunday afternoon. And I really been doing much hunting. This is my like second official hunt. My first hunt, we were in that tree over there. And we, we didn't have good wind, but we can only really hunt this spot with uh, a north wind or a northwest wind. And it's a little bit cooler today compared. Way cooler. Yeah. So about 20 degrees. Yeah, a lot of last couple of days has been about 80 degrees. So the deer in the afternoon would move about 10 minutes after before like shooting shooting time was over. So yeah, we're gonna stay here, be quiet. We probably won't see anything for a while, but we're hoping that it being a little bit colder out today, that the deer should move a little bit earlier, so we should see something. And I do have a doe tag too, so if I see one. It's definitely gonna get an arrow, but it's definitely this is the most bulk sign we've seen in this entire piece of public, so they should be here. If not a big one. But yeah, stay tuned. I didn't put my finger on <laughs> Well, you gonna go get it? Yeah, that's my best arrow. <laughs> but he dropped his arrow.
It's uncomfortable, it slants right here, so I've been standing up and I was just watching. And here comes this doe running right here, super fast. I wasn't sure if I was gonna hit her or not, or if I hit her or not, just because the way she acted after I shot her. But we just looked it back over, and it seems like I hit it. Um, I don't know if it's far back or not, but I did it because she, she just she was acting weird after I shot her. So, but yeah, two, two years in a two row, years in a row, October 13th. All right. So it's six thirty. We got about thirty six minutes of shooting light left. Legal shooting light left. Um, but we went down and checked the air. We packed up because we were just gonna go follow the blood trail and stuff like that. And I, uh, I guess I completely missed her. The air was completely clean. Nothing on it. So yeah, we're just gonna sit the last thirty minutes. Hopefully, another one comes out. But it's, it's kind of a bummer. I really thought I hit her. She was only 15 yards. I don't know, maybe the twig just really knocked it off course or something, but it, I completely missed her. So, yeah, we're gonna get quiet again and sit and wait even longer now. Hopefully another one comes out and keep the street going on October 13th. So, 